Hi everybody. It has been a long time since I got to um, paint live and um, I wanted to show you my sweet little squirrel and uh, he has a pretty little um, flower in his paw and I wanted to just get acquainted with everybody again. Um, I had been out of pocket. My mother um, was admitted to the hospital December the 4th. She's still in swing bed. Um, but we're hoping that she will get to come home soon. But, um, my sisters are, um, oh my, are, um, helping to watch my dad and mom taking care of those things through the week. And I'm going to do the weekends for them during this phase. I'm trying to start back my art classes in the afternoon. Have y'all ever seen these squirrels? They're, I think they're fox squirrels, not real sure. But they're beautiful, and I'm just enamored with them. I just love them. And they have a lot of personality, beautiful colors. And I've been following them, um, two or three little uh, people that uh, photograph them and make movies of them. And they post on Instagram. And I love them. Anyway, this little squirrel came to mind um, a few days ago. I saw one that was similar to him, and so, and then I saw another one, and I went, I can make this work. It shows the image in my mind, and I, I really don't have a, I wanted to create a um, thank you card very much. And, um, this is going to be a thank you card. Now, for those that are wondering what kind of paints I use, I like to switch back and forth between Daniel Smith and, um, Windsor and Newton. I really do. My, um... This is watercolor, and this is on 140-pound cold press um, watercolor paper by Arch, A-R-C-H-E-S. Now, if you see something that you don't like that you just painted, you can put a paper towel over there and and mop it up if that's what you want. My approach with watercolor is from light to dark. You need to layer your color carefully so that you don't end up with mess. Once you go dark with watercolor, it's like that if you didn't mean for it to be dark, well, you're kind of done for. So building the um, colors gradually and letting it dry 
is your best bet. Right here, we don't have any dramatic um, colors here, but we have these little light dashes that I make and see it builds up and so you just keep building and building and eventually it builds up and creates a beautiful effect. And like eventually you can tell what it is. I received a wonderful gift at Christmas time. Um, it is called a snap brush. This is a size six. This brush holds its shape. It holds water well. And that is what you want when working with watercolor. You need something that will hold the color without having to make um, multiple uh, trips back and forth. And you also, um, holding the shape, it's like I can draw with this brush. Those that know me know that um, I really started out just drawing. I didn't know that I had the capability to paint at all. And then um, I did some a couple of portraits for my sister and that's how it all got started. Now, I'm going to use a little Payne's Gray in here and some blue. If you mix uh, Payne's Gray with a little bit of um, indigo blue very lightly, you are going to really enjoy um, that combination. And the devil is in the details as far as my work goes. Well, anybody's work. Oh, hey, Yvonne. Um, happy belated Christmas and New Year's. <laughs> I hope you have been well. And I hope that beautiful new house is just getting prettier by the day. It's so good. I just thought I'd hop on a little bit. It had been so long since I had um, gotten to paint live. Kind of almost forgot how to do it. <laughs> well, what has been the matter? And actually, this is a squirrel. I think they live in Europe. <laughs> they may, some live over here too. But, uh, oh dear, what has been the matter? I hope it hadn't been COVID. All right, here we go. Just the crud. Oh my. Oh, I hope you get to feeling better. I have, um, ain't it cute? I found these, um, squirrels several months ago. Yvonne, I love them. Oh, RSV? I didn't know that adults could have RSV. But I guess so, huh? You poor thing. Was it a lot of coughing? And did you have any fever? All right, y'all. I am mixing a sepia brown. 
some raw umber and Payne's gray. Oh my gosh. Well, I hope you are some better. That is very concerning. I really hope you get better really quick. Let's see. Now, you have, whenever you're doing animals and you're kind of wanting a realistic detail, well, I'm glad to hear that. This, this getting sick thing combined with getting older is, um, not fun. How's mama? Well, we thought we were doing good, and then they, um, had to do some tests today. She had, um, had some blood to pass. And we think, I thought it was a UTI. It may, it may not be. Um, there's blood in the urine, so we'll have to see. Uh, and her white blood count was up high. And here we thought we were making some, you know, good progress. And as of today, we're not. So, uh, but she sounded good when I talked to her. And I was grateful for that. But it concerns me. Um, but they'll do some cultures, I'm guessing, and... And hopefully can tell us a wee bit more about it um, tomorrow because that's very concerning. See, I wanted, um, you know, we were just not going to stay in swim bed very long. We wanted her to come home, but she has a very good point. If I'm going to be sick, uh, I want to be here in the hospital so they can find out and head off whatever is going on. But she is over the bleeding ulcer part and we are praising the Lord for that. And uh, the pneumonia is also gone. So again, you know, we've had a lot of victories here, but mm -hmm. it's like we want to stay going forward, not backward. She'll be 85 in April. Do y'all see how I'm doing this with this brush? You take the very tip of it and you put it in your color and you make, well, I'm literally drawing it, but you're doing it with color. Now I am very yeah it's like one exactly um and it's like you, you know she can't get ahead and it's concerning um mama hasn't been down since i mean in the bed down since i was 10 years old i am now 66 so this has kind of been um, well, it's blindsided us. Oh, will you tell Mr. Wonderful I said hello? Um, I miss y'all so much. Anyway, if you want, all right, this is how I do. I take a light color and I go over the surface. Like it's a very light color. And then, after you do that, and you, just a swish, that's, that's all you want, just a swish. And then you go back over it with more color. And that, um... That's what gives you the effect of realism to me. I'm, um, I'm afraid to get on a uh, round-the-clock schedule for fear I have to cancel again. With um, 
Well, we don't have any guarantees, do we, Yvonne? How much longer do you think it'll be before y'all get in your, um, your house? I, I bet you they've come a pretty far piece, haven't they? Sheetrock and all that, huh? Alright. I'm doing this little shoulder. And I want this to be, if I, I was telling folks, maybe before you got on, um, I don't really have a thank you card. And there were um, a few people that mm -hmm. sent cards, that called, and this kind of thing. And, of course, the ones that prayed. All of those that prayed. I am so appreciative from, you know, sending those prayers up for Mama. And I, and I want to do a thank you card. So this is a thank you card. Have mercy. Six weeks. That, it's so hard to wait, ain't it? So hard to wait. Man, they must have been behind. All right. I'm taking sepia and um, a russet red color. And I'm just putting a, a little bit in there and not a lot. Also, just a bright orange color because he's so, he's so bright in some places. All right. Now, I'm taking this and I am picking that up and squirrels have little fur it sticks out like that they're not slick slick well tell me um I found the grandkids, are they still doing good? And how about those donkeys? The last time I saw the donkeys, they were frisking in the pasture. <laughs> I loved it. All right, now. And that gives a little pop of color right there. Now, on this part, I'm taking a buff color. It's like the color of sand. And um, I, I bring it out like so. <laughs> I bet they are. Well, tonight in Mississippi, it's, I mean, freezing cold. That wind is blowing 90 to nothing. Last night, we had a terrific, not in a good way, terrific uh, rainstorm. And it blowed over some yard furniture. And I'm like, whoa. All right, y'all. If you see that your watercolor is down uh, like going the wrong direction you can go back and whisk over it with some water and pick it up and redraw um as redraw it whenever it give it a minute to dry i love this little squirrel he's red in some areas and white in others just love him Let's see, we're going to get some more sepia. All right. And the bottom, let's see, my alarm's about to go off. I want to go a little bit more. Are y'all still interested in me going a little bit more? Um, but I want to work on his tail. I love this um, 
my brush. It is by snap, literally the word snap. Uh, and another thing, y'all, up close. <laughs> Ain't he cute, Yvonne? I just love this squirrel. I just love him. He is the bomb. Okay. All right, let's paint his other paw. Now, I start off with a really light color, like so. And I may even, um, I may even put, uh, I leave a little white space here. And then I throw some sepia in here, just willy-nilly. Uh-oh, got a piece of trash in there. And then, see, his paws are orange. And I am, I mean, he, this squirrel had me at hello. He is so stinking cute. And guess what I got in um, while Mama was in the hospital? I ordered a supplemental, supplemental, sublimation printer and a um, heat press. And I am going to put some of my designs on caps and aprons and tea towels and stuff like that. Isn't that exciting? I don't know when I'm going to get to do it, but I'm really looking forward um, to doing that. All right. So his little paws, and, and they're, I mean, quite orange. I mean, they really are. He is something. He is something. And um, hopefully I can be more consistent with m managing um, my website and all of that. All right, now. You want to put some of this orange, all right, you do like a brick red and you mix a bright orange with it and it gives you a beautiful russet color like that. I mean, I bet this squirrel has bunches of suitors. Look at that, how pretty he is. I'm going to put just a wee bit more orange in there. And see, that'll die down just a little bit. But it gives you a painterly effect. I love it. All right. Now, we're going to fade that out somewhat. And... And I may have to um, lighten this up, which I'm going to have to, because that's, he looks a little bit maybe like a, a rock star there. There we go. But you can see the gradation of color. You have a darker color, and lighter comes towards you, and dark colors fade away. And that's what you want. All right, now, his tail is, we're going to put a little bit more orange here. And the wind, I'm just jumping from one subject to the other, but y'all, the wind is still blowing like crazy. Hmm. Okay, now, his little tail is over here to the side, and it's going to be more... It's mousy, you know, it's not a wonderful, bright colors. Now, there are some that have a sassy tail, let me tell you. They are orange all over, but this little fella looked like he got dipped in his head and his paws got dipped in the color and, his, and he was held by his tail. <laughs> He's got no color. All right. Now, a thing about painting, if you are painting something, the more detail you have, it's going to be at the front, at the very 
start of your painting and as you go out you will fade and that's that's what you want it like the mountains the mountains are far away they're misty and that's what you want <coughs> don't you think this will make a cute thank you card I think so I have a link tree um, that um, I have when you go to my um, Facebook page, and it has all that on there. And if you want to look at something, you can. You're welcome to go through. Now, I'm choosing a gray, and we're also using a sepia tone, and we've got it really watered down. And we're going to do just a little bit of this. And you really don't want a whole lot of detail like that on this tail because the tail doesn't have that much um, drama. All right, here we go again. And I'm going to put a way more, <coughs> excuse me, a way more of gray and brown. <coughs> excuse me. All right, now. Then, <coughs> well, I'll be. All right, so we have a little bit more orange here and I'm sorry if this thing is moving I don't mean for it to move it's vibrating all right now I'm gonna paint just a wee bit more and then I, I won't keep you that much longer come on did you die I think my tablet died <coughs> <coughs> All right, I'll do a little bit more on this base and I'll let it go. All right, I love to do the streaky part. On this base. <coughs> Y'all, excuse me, I'm sorry. Let me see if I can, I have, um, anyway, I'm really looking forward, um, he, he really is a cute, cute squirrel, I mean, he is, whoopsie daisy, I didn't mean to do that, all right, I'm gonna let that close, I'm gonna open that back up again, I have, um, an image of a real live squirrel, that I'm going by, and um, I just love it when these photographers do my work for me. They are just so generous. Anyway, <laughs> all right, here we go. Now, whenever you want to define something, you're going to put a little bit more color there. All right, and when you're doing watercolor, you want to always have a scratch piece of paper because you don't want to go in there with guns a blazing. You want to be very careful and that's what we're going to do today. All right, he has a little white area around his nose. So I'm mixing gray and sepia again and we are darkening around his nose so that one can see it, and it's darker on the side than it is on the top, because that's where the light source is. Now, that's what I try to teach my uh, kids is about light source. If you have your light source, and also you don't want to forget your gray tones. All right. 
All right, here we go. If your light source is consistent, then your piece will be beautiful because it all makes perfectly good sense. But if you have a mixed up light source, then it, it's going to lose some of its realis realistic appeal. Alright, now around his little mouth, the the light, I mean, um, the gray, let me see, here he comes, I'm, I'm looking at it, it's still, it's gray here, it don't come all the way up, and it fades out like that. And when I put my brush in the water, I don't drown it. I just put a little bit, just keep the brush damp. And I love this brush because it holds water. It helps with the control. All right, here we go. Now, remember we were talking about light source? Well, apparently the shadows are darker on this side of the squirrel than they are on this side. So, we're going to have to keep in mind. Alright. And here we go. You'll also want to make sure that the hair is going in the right direction. Okay. Okay. Now, down here, we're going to get a little bit more Payne's Gray. Now, let me talk to you about black. If you put flat black on something, say. Something is black, totally black in your painting. Hi, Tracy. How are you doing? Thank you so much. I, I wanted to thank you, Card. Everybody's been so good and uh, to ask and pray about Mama and uh, I needed a thank you card and this is what I thought I'd do. All right. And I'm put him on a card. All right, now this is where see there's no light there, and you want it to be darker so you know it's his little lip, but you don't make a straight line because he has hair and he has little whiskers. As soon as I know that Mama may be out of the woods a little bit and at home. I'm going to try to schedule me a time slot, Tracy. Right now, we're, you know, she's had another little setback, and uh, I'm, I don't want to do it and have to schedule it and then have to unschedule it. Okay, then have to cancel. But I want to really, really bad. Okay, now we're going to take a little bit of brown and we're going to do a wash and we're going to do another wash right here but girls when you do a wash over something that you've already painted don't drown don't drown it and i know you're enjoying your new digs miss tracy i bet you are i saw that um little post, you and your little fur baby, or him, I saw him, or her, in your new craft room, 
Oh, I'm, I, I know you're just so excited. You have to pinch yourself to make sure it's real. Okay. All right, now right here, it's very light. All right, there we go. Okay, down here, we're going to make it. All right, we're going to do it like this. Yeah, you've been sick too, haven't you, Trace? Alright, now, if you want to make something more definite, that's when you put in the dark accents. And this brings me back to black. Y'all, don't use straight black. If, um, thank you, and please keep up the praying, please. We had a little setback today, and I'm concerned. And she can use all the prayers you can think I bet that she can get. Poor little thing, but she's been a trooper. All right, now the little squirrel has a little dark spot here, and we're gonna give him some more shadow and detail right here everybody's been so good to pray for and ask about my mother i wanted to say thank you all right now for those of you <laughs> it, it I think so too, Yvonne, and I'm glad that I had the opportunity to do so. Alright, here we go. Now, if you put a color in there and you don't like it, that's alright. You just go back over that, put a little bit of water. Did you see that? It disappeared. Didn't ruin it or anything. Cynthia, I see you on here. Girl, how are you doing? All right. Now, what I'm doing here is that blowing on it a little bit. You don't want your paper saturated. You do not. You want it just lightly damp. Every Everything about watercolor is control of the water. And it is... A, you will always have that struggle. <laughs> I bet they love it. I bet you put out food for them. Does yours have the long hair on it, Tracy? Are they that um? Are they that type? Are they just the regular? Thank you, Cynthia. Are they just the regular short-eared ones? Which, they're just as cute. My cats have gotten very lazy here lately. It ain't just been here lately. They've been lazy a long time. They, instead of chasing them, they just like to sit in the window. Hello, Diane. I'm so glad that you could join us. Um... That they like just to sit in their own, in the kitty window and watch them run up and down the brick, um, walk. <laughs> Let's see. Now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I bet so. Can't encourage that group, huh? Now, I am trying to get this little part around his eye just right because of the, um, the shadowing here. Well, Diane, I don't believe that 
I've ever got to say hello to you before. Where are you from? Are you new to me? Now, if you have watched me before and I just didn't know it, please accept my apology. But I sure am glad you're here with us tonight. Okay. Let's see. Alright, now, you want it to be fuzzy because our squirrels are not slick. I love squirrels. Especially these long-haired ear ones. I don't know what you call them, but they are just fetching. Okay, okay, let's see. Now, we're a I got to work a little bit on this side because this has a little bit darker around, yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet you know too, in pots, underneath things, little rascals. All right, here we go. Do they leave things in your stash on the porch? <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, but This house really had sat empty. The one that I live in now had sat empty for years. And the squirrels had taken great liberties with this house. And so, when we moved in at night, I could hear them running around and having a grand time in the um, attic. And we knew that wouldn't work because they chew things, you know, like wires. And so, I told Gary, I said, to be safe, we're going to have to, um, we're going to have to, you know, shut this party down. So, long story short. We sealed up around, well, my goodness, you went literally, Diane, from New England to Southeast Arizona. Girl, that is quite a move. I bet y'all had some culture shock there. Okay, here we go. Now, underneath his eye is a little shading here. And this is probably his little skeleton there. And we're going to make this a wee bit darker. And then we're going to... Do a wee bit here. Okay, does he do look like he's coming on, folks? All right, now we're going to do a little bit of gray in here. Now, I, third time I've tried to tell a story about flat black. Do not color in uh, with just black. You mix a black with um. Uh oh, that's a, a navy blue. I don't want that. Um, you use like, um, ultramarine blue and a burnt sienna to get a nice neutral color. That's what you do. You, and then the, um, if you want it darker, you keep adding an ultramarine blue to it till you get, um, the neutral that you want. You will rarely use a black straight out of the tube because it just will just, it'll flatten it out. It has no highlights in it. It's just flat. And then there you are stuck with it. Um, and if you go too dark, you, um, um, if you go too dark, then you just have to, you know, your piece is ruined. You see. But anyway, getting back to the window and the squirrel party. Well, they were just having a field day with the house, literally. And so, Gary um, put, um, what did he do? He put up um, 
aluminum trim all the way around the windows. Let me find, here it is. And one little squirrel one evening tried to get in so hard, but he couldn't get past the metal. And and that was good. So the, they all had to go back to living outside in the trees that God made them. <laughs> but man, now, we used to have a little Dotson, and oh, if she saw a squirrel, it was on. She would run them, and she was so fat, and they were so fast, it was no contest. They would just hang on the side of the tree and taunt her. Isn't that ugly? That was so ugly. All right. You can see how this is working in here. All right. Now. I'm going to put a little bit darker brown on this side as a shadow because he has... All right, I'm putting a brown and a little Payne's gray together, and that makes a nice neutral. And, and you put that over his eye like so, and that makes more definition like that. And you put a little bit more right here, and this is the characteristic, um look for a squirrel now if y'all are watching and you're new to me and you want to see more of my work i have a link tree on my uh, little page with the information <laughs> boy they're getting after it aren't they miss tracy oh my goodness does your dog just go nuts? Pardon the expression. Or, or just like, you know, never mind. All right, so we've got the, the, all right, now we need to do, we need to do um, uh, a wee bit more brown. All right, I'm doing a, there's all this, um, this, this color called raw umber, but I really like the burnt sienna uh, better and the ultramarine blue. Let's see. Ultramarine blue. Where are you? And here we go. It's like blue and orange cancel each other. All right. And we're going to put... See, it, it, it's a neutral. Orange and blue are complementary colors so that when you put them together, they create a neutral. Now, I've got several more. Um, let's see. All right, now, I want to do a whisker or two on this gentleman, and I'm going to, um, let's see, how many whiskers to these oh they have several whiskers oh boy and they're dark so what you do you make sure that you are through with whatever you're going to do now i'm just penciling this in because i may change my mind later he has shorter whiskers longer whiskers bent whiskers i mean he is i bet he has all kind of girlfriends well denise hey i remember your name i think thank you for sprinkling girl i appreciate that i i haven't been alive in a long time all right, so he has whiskers. If you want to go back and draw back in with a pencil, I mean, that to me is wonderful if you want to do that. Um, 
I really enjoy that. And this gives a little bit more life to it. And also to darken up on his nose. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of brown there. I mean, the graphite was fine, but it's not what I really want. So, I'm going to put a little bit more of sepia and um, ultramarine blue to get. It gives you a wonderful um, neutral there. I love it. It's almost like, you know, if mud was a beautiful color, it would be this color. Yeah. All right. But be careful because you don't want to do it too much. So I'm lifting. Okay. I'm lifting. And right down here we have this. Got any, got any Danish? <laughs> no, I don't. I, I've had to amend my ways. <laughs> I ha I've had to amend my ways just a wee bit. I treat myself every now and then, but not too much. All right. I cannot get this just right. Let me try sepia again. Here we go. All right. There we go. Y'all, the name of this brush, for those that uh, haven't heard of it, it's called Snap. S-N-A-P. If y'all are dabbling with watercolor, you guys will get a very good brush to start off with. It's green, my favorite color, green. This is a size six. All right, now, I'm going to put a wee bit of gray here, just a wee bit, not very much, and sometimes a gray over brown makes a very good neutral and a shadow. There we go. Okay. What do you think? I, I think he looks pretty good. What do y'all think? And I will download him into Canva and play with some words. I am... Craving something sweet. <laughs> Y'all are bad. <laughs> uh, oh, y'all are so bad. I, I'm I'm trying to be a good girl, but I, I wasn't a good girl completely today. I had some ice cream with some chocolate on it. Yes, on this cold day, I had that. All right. I think he looks very dapper. And if I was a female squirrel, he would have my attention. No, I I haven't had any Danish in quite some time. Y'all are going to make me go get some. Don't do that. <laughs> I, I'm bad enough as it is. Mm -mm -mm. I am so fat. Oh, I, I had vanilla ice cream with Hershey's chocolate syrup on it today. And you talk about good. It was so good. Screaming cold outside, but I didn't care. <laughs> All right. 
Let me get a wee bit of gray up here. He needs just a little bit right here. Okay. Now, you think I should um, sign my name to it, y'all? Let me, let's see. I need, this is a size one. Have y'all ever seen these pens? The Micron pens? They're very good. All right, hang on. And they have different sizes. They have the one, I mean the half point, the whole point, a five, an eight, hundredths of a point. I don't know how they make something so little like that, but they do. Go for it. Have you got... Go get it. Go get it right now. And enjoy yourself. Uh, Yvonne, you, you really might be well tomorrow if you have some of that. But the Hershey's chocolate syrup, oh my gosh. It was fantastic. Okay, here we go. Alright, what did we learn tonight? Don't put, if you have something black in your painting, don't just automatically color it black. Don't do that. If you're painting, just put um, um, sepia, no, what did, I, what did I say? Ultramarine blue and burnt sienna together, and you'll have wonderful neutral color. And if you want, now on the eyes, you can do them um, in black, but um, be very careful with that. All right, here we go. Just a minute. Got to do this one. The texture of this paper is making it. Okay, now I'm going to paint in the eye. Hang on, we're about through. Now I'm doing the burnt sienna again and the ultramarine blue, and we're going to see how well this does. Oh, oh. Good for you. Good for you, Yvonne. <laughs> I bet it's good, too. Alright. Now, this is Payne's Gray and Burnt Sienna. We'll see how well it that goes. Alright. I'm going to put just a wee bit here. But not a whole lot. Okay. Eat my ice cream sitting under my... Well, girl, is there any other way? Cecile? Cecilia? No. Cecily. Please excuse me. I don't have my glasses on. But thank you for watching and joining us. That was really... We appreciate you being here. And I hope you'll continue to follow us. Alright, now... This is not flat black. It is Payne's Gray, which is a gray color, and Ultramarine Blue. And that is a good way to make a good neutral color and it color in what you need. See, look at the difference. Just look at the difference. He is so stinking cute, isn't he? And he's going to look great on a greeting card. Y'all, I make my own greeting cards. I really like to do flowers. I paint literally, though, everything. Um, oh, how sweet of you. Thank you. All right, now. We 
we're trying to get these eyes just right. There we go. I'm gonna let that dry a wee bit. What other way is it <laughs> to eat ice cream? I ask you. <laughs> you can't pick at me anymore, Yvonne. How about sweet? Well, yeah, you can, but, you know. I know what you like. All right, now. What do y'all think about him? Isn't he cute? I'm going to add a little bit of eyelashes right there. Okay. And a few little eyelashes right here. And look at that. And... Y'all, if you're interested in watercolor, go and get you some um, paints. I like Windsor and Newton, and I like Daniel Smith, but I really like Windsor and Newton better, except for the greens. And those greens are Undersea Green and Daniel Smith, Perry Lane Green, and um, Sap Green. If you have those three colors, you don't need anything else. Ain't this baby sweet? Oh, look. All right. Now, I'm going to put my signature on it now. You girls, whenever you are creating something and you paint it, you be sure and put your name on it. All right. Now... Let's see, today is the night. Can't believe it's a new year already. This is my first painting of the year. I am so happy that y'all are here to um, be with me to create it, and um, I'm thankful for it. And if y'all like this, please share it for me. And, um, I really appreciate it. I hope you have a lovely night, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Night.